Hey, hey, what's good? Welcome to the channel. Going to be talking about two things today. Number one, Impact Wrestling on Access TV. Huh? Maybe? Is it going to happen? Number two, Impact Wrestling and AAA. I know I'm a little late talking about it. Doesn't mean I can't still talk about it here on the Impact Lounge. Let's go. Dave Meltzer and the Wrestling Observer reports that Impact still is in contact with Access TV. They're still trying to work out a deal. We don't know exactly what the structure is of this deal and why the holdup is there. Now, there's been rumors out there that Anthem has approached Access, owned by Mark Cuban, about purchasing the company. Uh, I saw one report last night said that was completely unfounded and there was nothing like that going on. And then I saw a second report saying we don't know how the, the, those conversations went. So there's some conflicting information. If Anthem were to acquire Access TV, obviously that would be a huge get. I don't think that's something that's going to happen, though. I think that's maybe there was something to it, but I think it's more rumor than anything. I don't really expect that to go down. But initially, Impact had hoped to have this TV deal in place by summer. I think it was something they wanted to announce at Slammiversary. It didn't happen. So I'm not worrying too much that we haven't heard anything by now. Obviously, Pursuit is a horrible television partner for them. But I'm not too worried that we haven't heard anything yet because Bound for Glory is right around the corner. And I think they would rather make the announcement at Bound for Glory than on a taped episode of Impact or via press release or something like that. I think they want to kind of do it big get the hardcore fans, the ones purchasing the pay-per-view, the one watching it, streaming in, the ones at the event. I think they want to get them pumped up the most and announce a TV deal that way. So let's hope that's exactly what happened. I've talked about this before. Access would be a wonderful television partner for them. Why? Because they already got Women Are Wrestling on there and they got New Japan Pro Wrestling on there. And it does freaking matter to be on a station. Doesn't matter what the reach is. It doesn't matter if it's in 20 million, 30 million, 80 million homes. Solid Pop TV, which actually had a pretty decent reach. It really does matter to be on a channel where the target demographic hangs out and watches the programming. So you've, you've already got people who watch wrestling on this channel. So this is one you want to be on. So let's see what happens at Bound for Glory. Fingers crossed. Hopefully this is the announcement that happens. Access would be a great home for Impact Wrestling. I know I'm a little late to the party on this one, uh, but Impact Wrestling is presenting AAA at their New York show, so they're going to handle the promotion and marketing, which you know, you know how I feel about Impact's promotion and marketing, but uh, that's a, another conversation for another day. I will say that the partnership with Jeff Jarrett from last year when the whole Global Force fiasco, I would say the one positive thing that came out of that was the partnership with AAA. Now, they did a thing with Noah. Now, we're going to see Marafuji at Bound for Glory, so maybe they're still working relationship there a little bit, and they worked with The Crash and a couple other promotions, but... AAA was a really, really good one to get involved with. You know, Impact tried to work with Lucha Underground several years ago. Lucha Underground told them no. And then fast forward, they had a working relationship. So now Impact's going to be presenting AAA, which was initially going to be in the large Madison Square Garden venue. That venue has since changed. It's actually going to be moving over to the Hulu Theater, which I understand fits about 5,100 people. So still a pretty good sized crowd they have over there in the New York area. And the broadcast i guess is going to be on the fight network in canada hopefully we get some kind of stream here in the united states or whatever country might be watching impact from but it would be really nice to have the opportunity to watch this event Cain velasquez will be there he got really high marks in his debut match last month blue demon jr dr wagner and then taya valkyrie will be defending her reina de reina's championship against tessa blanchard so that's one we really really want to see of course there's always a lot of positivity around AAA. they do really really good work great shows but again lots of positivity that's the kind of company impact really wants to associate themselves with going forward and i wasn't really sure if we were going to see much AAA and impact going forward since aew had worked with uh AAA at their last event so this is a good thing it's a good place to do work you know impact already is doing shows in the new york area and by promoting and marketing this they're allowing AAA to use their promoter's license in the united states so hopefully this means something even bigger for impact in mexico going forward i personally am a huge huge fan of the impact tapings when they're in mexico so it's been a really beautiful partnership can't wait to see what happens with this and let's hope let's hope that we get some kind of streaming opportunity here in the united states maybe on impact plus i mean if they're doing fight network in canada which is owned by anthem i would imagine we would get the opportunity on impact plus so let's hope so this is the impact lounge folks 
Don't forget, please hit subscribe if it's your first time here. Give the video a thumbs up and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.